what up guys uh in the previous video we left off this ad something like this so the application was looking something like this but in this video we're going to be looking at uh, another complete dimension so all, all we're going to look at is how to style a, an application but not with this kind of ui we're going to change the ui a bit i have also drawn the uh, wireframe for that so if you look at this wireframe right here so this is what we are going to be achieving so the final application is look going to look something like this so what the application is going to do is to actually show complete pictures in the center red box so the red box is going to be multiple pictures that come kind is going to be shown and we're going to just check i mean you're going to uh, give it an answer one and answer two and it's going to be correctly matching the answer is going to be uh, uh, maybe considered as the right answer so it's kind of like a yes or no kind of an application but uh, i don't want to look at it to, to do something complex with a lot of nlu and all that just a simple application we're going to be looking at creating something like this and letting uh, us see how it works with the kiwi application so that's what we're going to be doing and that's going to be the agenda for the entire series starting from now but for this video we're going to look at just the styling portion alone i'll quickly uh, write the code out right now for you guys and explain to you what is going to really happen so just close this thing out and i'll just uh, first of all go ahead and remove this that is need for any more uh, two columns here we'll just remove this one right off the bat and no need for this again like no more text inputs and also no more passwords awesome so what we're going to do instead of button if you run this now it's going to be a couple of buttons one below the other and uh, we're going to get something like this and there is no text also to this so what we're going to do now is to actually introduce my next important uh, widget which is nothing but the input uh, image widget so image widget is very simple you have to do is uix dot image and import if you just import image it's going to be pointing to a local image if you import an async image it's going to be pointing to a uh, url like you know it's from a you it's from a different internet source so so that's what you're going to do just take the async image here and paste it here so how is the source going to be given it's going to be simple source is equal to and we can just give our url here i'll just find a quick image also um We'll just find something like this from here. We'll take this image and I'll just go and give it the source here. So if I run this application, it will be like something like this. Can you see that it's kind of buffering, waiting for the internet to load and then it's going to show the image to us and the bottom half is going to be the uh, button that we just created and this is how the image is going to look at that's really good right so uh, the kiwi is automatically taking care of buffering part anyway now the one more thing that you quickly want to add here is that if you see the background here it's kind of black and not giving a good feel to the application if you also felt the same way there's a very simple way to correct that just import go quickly import kiwi dot core go to the core of the kiwi and import the window class and inside that you will have the window class and we'll use that and we'll just set the clear color for the entire window so make sure to do that at the build of the method like even before you start rendering the layout just do window dot clear color is equal to uh, one comma one comma one comma one so this is going to be an RGBA color. So just RGBA is going to be point. This one is going to point to the red. So uh, sorry, white. And if you run it, you can automatically see that it's now become completely white. And also this borders here, if you can just mildly note, it's also becoming white. So it's a good thing that you have arrived at this now. Anyway, now the uh, the whole intention is to now replace the button here with these two buttons, right? these two buttons so how do we do that that is also another important te technique that i want to talk about here which is going to be uh, using a multiple grid layouts inside a grid layout which is very uh, again it's going to be a simple way to do that all you need to do is just create a bottom uh, layout create something like a uh, variable called this and create a grid layout here so just an instance of grid layout and in the bottom layout you're going to be adding two but first of all we're going to set the columns here so the columns is going to be two again so the columns is going to be two we've set the columns and in the column you can now going to add we're going to add the first button and the text is going to be answer one and layout would add widget the button again is going to be answer two all right now we'll run this application the next important thing to do is to add the bottom widget to this widget right so what you need to do is add widget dot bottom widget bottom layout sorry so stop and run this application again we'll for sure know what is going to happen awesome right so this one i wanted to go so i'll just remove this thing out 
might have added by mistake awesome so we just currently are looking at a kind of a closer picture to this one here maybe not the exact picture yet but we've added with that this so i'll continue to do this and we'll be monitoring what is going to happen you just make minor changes but now what i want to quickly also do is to talk to you guys about a bit of a styling here so everything in here is just black and white right everything every application is just simple black and white so what we can do to add color to a simple button you should start looking at the available colors and available styling options so the whole purpose of this video is to talk about that so let's go ahead and straightly go ahead and start looking at what are the available color options one good thing that i would teach you guys or i would ask you guys to do is to start always look at the documentation if you're stuck somewhere instead of going and searching for google for a lot of stuff you should obviously do should obviously do but still you can just go into the documentation and most of the time the documentation is always very very clear so as you can see as soon as you go into the button class it says that i can add a background color property and it give it in the format of rgba which is 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 like they have given here as well in the default as well so i'm just going to do that again i'll just go here i'm going to give it a first property which is going to be my background color so i'm going to say background color is equal to i'm going to give it in the form of a tuple one maybe 0.5 comma 8.5 comma 0.5 comma 1 or something like that and when i stop and run this application okay it's kind of very dark now i'll just make it a little bit lighter maybe something like this all right this is much better now application is looking much better i have got a little bit of a tingy or uh, maybe rgba right so it's kind of a uh, i don't know kind of a looser color blue is higher now i'll give a 3 and 5 here so make it look much better okay this is now greenish which is fine for now if you guys are actually stuck at what color you need to give just find i mean google search for an rgba format and just give it here i'll just give the same color also to this one again and we are voila done all right so we have just looked at creating the first uh, application starting to move towards that and we've also added the bottom two halves here and we just added one answer one and answer two now if you click this nothing is going to happen right away so but what we're going to do is to actually also set the padding set the margin set the border and i'm also going to do all of that properties here and make it a little bit more smaller in size and i'll just go ahead and, and end this video and the next video which is again the part two continuation i'll teach you guys how to actually when the click button happens we are going to be uh, looking at how to move the application or change the images and all of that is going to be obviously run in the second video so i'll close this out if you're interested watch me call the rest of this out and if you aren't just skip to the next video and we'll be learning about more about how do you actually make changes to buttons and hit the, all of this is going to be here as always the code for this video is also going to be lying in my official website check it out if you're interested and let me meet you there um, if you're interested let's continue coding
Oh, so if you guys just stay till this point of time, I just want to make sure one comment, quick comment here. So what happens is that when you have your grid layout, everything is going to be stuck inside the grid layout. So you cannot actually control the button size or anything of that sort. So I've just done a simple work around that by like adding a simple uh, label, which I know is going to occupy some portion. So this is going to be the end of the application. Now it doesn't look extremely good, but af after we actually go ahead and start working with the float layout in the next video, I'm going to be talking more about that. So let's get to started let's get started with that in the next video uh, make sure that you stay tuned and watch that as well until then, peace would have a super awesome day